Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the summary for the day for the situation happening in uh, Israel with their battles against Hezbollah, Hamas and the Houthis. And uh, before I forget, because uh, this is really out away from the map, the Houthis have shot down a US MQ-9 Reaper drone uh, over uh, the, the this, uh, province of El Jauf. So it's basically around this desert area. So one of this, uh, this MQ-9 drone now got shot down again. Uh, MQ-9, if I'm not wrong, Reaper is an attack drone. So they are definitely hunting for the Houthis and uh, yeah, it got shot down. And uh, this is not the first drone, US drone that has been shot down. According to Raiba, um, 12 drones have been shot down uh, in the space of a year since the uh, October 9th attack, 7th attack, October 7th. I can't even remember which day is it. Yeah, October 7th. So, October 9th. Yeah, whatever. So, so you know what I mean. So, this uh, so this, this is shot down by the Houthis air defense systems. So, yeah, very interesting that the US uh, continue to lose drones. Um, so, there is a, like over $100 million worth of drone has been shot down by the Houthis already. And uh, so, we go to the situation uh, in uh, Israel. Uh, so we start off with the Lebanon uh, side of the situation. So uh, the Israelis are still conducting operations within uh, Lebanon. Uh, so there are a few major offensives are currently happening over in the northern side. Uh, wrong color. Northern side. Uh, and then uh, this is the northern or western side, eastern side. And then in the southern side, they have uh, another th three different attacks. So there are three trees. So around totally six different uh, directions that the, uh, the Israelis are conducting offensive in. So uh, the the situation around the the Tebe, you know, Rab El Talatin region, there's not much change around here. The front line have not really changed much uh, in this uh, most northern edge of the front lines. Uh, if I overlap the mapping, you can see that there's basically no change. Uh, in terms of the situation in this area here. However, in the south of this position, that's not the case. There's a massive change of front line, as you can see. Uh, the Israelis have uh, advanced uh, all along this area. This is the new newly taken positions by the Israeli troops. And it might have something to do with the gathering of forces that was previously around this area here. So if you look at the previous uh, reports, we know that uh, there is some kind of uh, Israeli buildup in this area here and it looks like they were deployed in this direction and they are now currently battling uh, the, uh, the, the the Hezbollah forces over at Hula as well as in the Maiz El Jabal. So this is the two areas that the currently battles are being reported over the past 48 hours. So uh, so it's still at this moment exact, uh, pretty unclear if you ask me what is the uh, intention at this moment for the is Israelis because we are still talking about still a lot of Lebanon to go through. Uh, I, I'm I'm sure that the Hezbollah does not only exist in the south of Lebanon. So, so yeah, this the, the, this clearance operation is going to be very slow. As far as I can observe, my understanding is that the Israelis are really taking it really slowly. They are taking grounds inches by inches and then they will, dis they, they will dig everything up. They look for all the tunnels and based on their intel and then they will just blow up everything uh all the because there's a lot of uh, military tunnels uh built up by hezbollah over the decades and uh, they just blow them up so that's the current uh, israeli operation and i think this is going to take a long time this operation i believe will, will last through at least a year similar to the situation in gaza it will take a long time for the israeli to really iron out these problems around here uh, the other front major battles is around this uh, Marun El, El Ras. Uh, there's, there's some frontline changes in this sector. Uh, you can see some slight change with the Israelis uh, linked up the two sides. They have linked up these two sides of this uh, front lines. And uh, currently the other front lines within uh, El, El, what is the name of here? El Tarun, I Tarun. Ay Tarun as well as a Marun El Ross uh, has not really changed much. Uh, this this front line did not really change uh, much at all. So um, the the other battles uh, is over in this sector, over in uh, El Ash Sharp. I can't really pronounce this Arab words well. Uh, Eta Eta Ash Sharp as well as a Rimash. Uh, 
And uh, these are also uh, major changes in this sector as well. Uh, if I overlap the mapping, you can see that, oops. If I overlap the mapping in this area, uh, you will see that there is a massive change of front lines. Uh, the Israelis, uh, so you can see it like this. You can see that uh, the Israelis have basically advanced in this sector around here. Uh, this is the area. I should use red. This is the area that they have taken. They have attacked all these, taken all these areas here since the last time where we have talked about uh, the Lebanon situation. So they have cleared a lot of uh, areas and this also seems to have uh, links with the previous gathering of forces uh, around uh, the south of Shtula. So they have advanced into this area here uh, which is which is pretty much something that I might have talked about a long time ago. So they have entered into the into the battle. So fighting is currently uh, over at uh, Rimesh, Rimesh. How do you pronounce this? Rimesh? Yeah, in the in the Rimesh region, this is where the, the Israeli and the uh, Hezbollah forces is current, currently clashing. So, uh, so it, it will continue. It will take forever, I think. This is going to be a, like an endless war. I think not even one year would do because this is way bigger than uh, Gaza Strip and a way more complicated uh, terrain because it's all you know, mountain and hills and whatnot. So otherwise, uh, other sectors, there's not much change uh, in this, uh, the rest of the Lebanon region, southern Lebanon region. Of course, airstrike shellings are all a given. But uh, two days, two, three days ago, there is some massive uh, rocket attack from Hezbollah into Israel. Uh, the, there is hundreds of missiles being fired. Uh, there are some that actually, they say actually many of the launch site was actually uh, destroyed before they are managed to launch according to the Israeli sources. But um, the they still managed to fire hundreds of them into Israel. The, the main targeted, uh, the main area that got hit is the Ra'anana, Ra'anana as well as in uh, at the airport of Bel Gurion. So this is the two main areas that got hit by the by the Hezbollah rocket strikes. And it's, it's pretty impressive uh, that they are able to launch rockets or missiles attack more than a hundred kilometers away from the, from their uh from the from where the border is, so it's pretty interesting, uh to see modern warfare you know operates in a very totally different way. Like, I don't think I don't think uh guerrillas or no rebel forces in the past you know in maybe fifty years ago have ever had this kind of capabilities. Uh, so the situation at Gaza also uh, remains last, largely the same. The Israelis are still in uh, Beit Halia as well as in the Jabalaya region. They are still uh, operating in this sector and they are still clashing with the Hamas uh, militants uh, in this area. So it's, it's interesting that uh, they are still in the area. I thought that it's going to be a short-term operation, but it seems like they are still in the area. So we will continue to monitor the situation. Uh, there's not much to talk about uh, because it's just guerrilla war, and uh, which is why this mapping and our reporting is different from the Ukraine war reporting because, yeah, it's, it's pretty much an overwhelming one-sided war. So, and the enemy is, uh, for the for the main force, which is the Israelis, the, 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 the enemies are all always hidden. There's no clear front line. So it's um, it's not that easy to report. So the other fighting is uh, around Gaza, but it's less clear where the fighting is because the Raiba simply men mentioned capital of the enclave. Uh, the center part uh, between the Gaza and the southern half of uh, Gaza Strip is still divided by the corridor. So the Israelis are still holding the corridor in this area. And uh, over in the Rafa region, there is clashes reported east of Rafa, uh, as well as in uh, in the area of Han Yunis. So Han Yunis one is a bit more unclear where exactly, but there is definitely still uh, some clashes around here. But it's just skirmishes. Uh, you know, wrong color. It's just skirmishes. Uh, it's just ambushes, probably snipers, you no know, random RPG strikes, and the Israelis are just holding position, as this is just a. Buffers, buffer force to prevent uh, transfer of manpower, equipments, and anything between Egyptian side of uh, the fence and with the 
uh, Gaza, Gaza uh, side of it. So this is just a corridor force as well. So anyway, uh, otherwise, uh, there is some you no know, terrorist attacks, uh, some uh, clashes, uh, riots within West Bank. I think it's pointless to talk about it because it happens all the time. So anyway, this is the current situation in uh, Israel with their war against the Triple H. Thank you for watching. Press the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment. And uh, you can also tell me you know, how often should I be reporting this war. Uh, I haven't been able to t talk much of this war because I was really busy. So it's not that I don't want to report on it. But uh, you can also tell me more about it. And I'll see you guys in the next update.